Hello, Divine Ones. This is Ashley H.A. Williams with the Only the Flame podcast. In this episode, I will be discussing the inner selves. So the phrase inner selves refers to the inner identities. This could be synonymous with the psyche. So the psyche is the identification that we assign to ourselves, um, our attitudes, our perceptions, the way how we perceive different information that is processed through our 3D suppressed mental. And with the inner selves, this acts as a shell to shield our core being. So our core being is who we are before we came here. It's actually more so like two parts to it. Okay, so you have your higher self, uh, your super consciousness. And before incarnating to the 3D experience that you had a part of you or aspect of you that is physical, but it's not the density of the 3D suppression. And so what I mean by the 3D suppression, I'm referring to the 3D experience, the 3D existence, life as people would call it. But that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> OK, so with your core being, your core being is this alignment, is this energetic core that is attached from your higher self. And so with the core being having the two aspects of physicality, so the higher physicality and then the lower physicality and that alignment that is connected to the higher self, the super conscious mind. And so the superconscious mind is under the tutelage of the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy. OK, um, and so what happens is that when we incarnate to the 3D physical, we leave limitlessness and we step into the role of limitations. And so that's what the biblical text is referring to when they say sin. So sin is the 3D suppression, what they will also call flesh, also known as the resistance. It's, you can even look at it as gravity in scientific terms. And so that gravity, that resistance that pushes against the aspects of ourselves that is connected to the higher self. So that's how you build these energetic blockages. And so with these energetic blockages, it's, it comes from first incarnating into the 3D experience. And with that incarnation, just off bat, just like the incarnation itself, you build energetic blockages, but then you have energetic blockages that are passed down through the DNA, through the heredity, um, these different codes, but you also have suppressed DNA. And so the suppressed DNA would awaken at different times throughout your 3D experience. And so with this inner core being, this is the center that is connected to the higher center that is connected to the higher self. OK, and so as we continue throughout our 3D experience for the first part of your 3D experience is about finding who you are. So the first part of your, your 3D experience, you're building these inner selves, these inner identities to protect your center being. OK, and so what happens is that you build for each inner self, you're building like an energetic blockage from your higher self to your, your core being, to your lower self. And so as you continue to go on, you hit this awakening spot in your life, if you will, or portal, whatever word you really want to fill in the blank there. And when you start to awaken, you realize that, okay, the first, the first shell of your inner self is that I... I realized that I have some type of falsity within me, that I haven't been living in my truth. And now you're embarking on the journey of unwrapping yourself, if you will. So think about these different layers or, of wrapping paper or of blockages, something that is packaging something. And what is it packaging? It's packaging the core being, who you really are. And so as you continue to uh, peel back these layers you begin to arrive at different epiphany moments, which is like when you, you, you notice first the first shell and you peel back that layer and then that arrives to the next level you and the next level you is a little more in tune with the higher self, 
However, it's still many cores and layers to go to. And so that's like um, your the next level you is like the epiphany, like another awakening. And then you peel back another layer of your inner self, the another another peeling of the of this inner identity that you have built. And some of those inner identities, like I was saying, come from the DNA, come just from others. And so this is talking about generational identities or and identities could be synonymous with energies, synonymous with thoughts, habits um, and the alchemical processing, the way how one processes information is handed down. That's through heredity. But then you also have through nature and um, pardon me, through nurture. And so this is things that we have actually physically observed and built for ourselves in the 3D experience. And so as you continue to to um, peel back these identities, these layers, and you arrive to your next level you, that's an awakening. Then you peel back another layer and you arrive to the next level you, which is a little more in line with your higher self. And you continue to go on this unfolding, this journey. That's why you're always constantly in learning mode, always constantly in alignment, going on the journey of alignment. (laughs) It's a continuous process. In addition to that, you know, we have new energies that are constantly bombarding this this 3D experience. Okay, and so with that, like these energies and this is another topic with these the the different aspects of energies. And so you have your energies like your inward self that exudes from inward outward. And then you have the out the outer G's that could also be spelled like the word energies, like the traditional way of how you spell energies. And that are magnetized to you based on your inner, your inner selves, your energy flowing from within you. And then they are magnetized towards you. And so it's a constant pull, pull, push, push, pull that goes on. So you guys, if you have any questions, you can always visit our website. Regardless if you have questions or if you want to leave a comment or you want to read our blogs, we have um, posts over there. And these are a lot, a lot of the posts are based off of common questions that we have or different information that may come to us. And you can visit that site, www.fp11-11ministries.org. There you can find a plethora of different information, like I was saying, as well as links to PDF downloads, as well as the link to our channel, as well as the link to our channel, our YouTube channel. And so I thank you once again, you guys. You can share this blog post. I thank you once. I thank. I thank you once again, you guys. You can always share. Feel free, please, please share this information with more divine ones. And our mission is to educate, motivate, and stimulate all twin flames, star seeds, indigos, light workers, etc. All divine ones. So you guys. Until next time, continue to feel the flame. I'll talk to you later. This is Ashley. Peace.